dad and I, if you were still here, would we have agreed on how to raise you? Respect others, be curious and open-minded. At your age, that mostly meant avoid picking your nose in public. You and your I dad. Does that mean had you've had a child again and with a mystery yet. dad we and the same now wedding. they've broken up and now it's just you and... Is Alex your kids? He's got that little something in his eyes. This uncanny kindness that's always there. Got damaged, you know. Okay, pretend I didn't say anything, huh? Hello, Alex. How are you doing, Alex? Oh, I'm so glad to hear from you, Alex. That's passive aggression. Did you take it? <laughs> uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I know exactly what he's talking about. I just have no desire to talk about it right now. The house. Astrid's dollhouse. It used to be in my office and now it isn't. And I need it for work. I'm using it as a reference for level design. Can I call you later? Hold on. Where am I right now? <laughs> in like an empty wing of the hospital. <laughs> yeah, not a great idea. It's kind of spooky. No, you cannot call me later. It's easy. Just tell me if you have it. It will take two seconds. Yeah, I mean, you know, being yeah. straight up would... My nerves. I'm sorry, but it's true. All right. Being straight up would be easier. <laughs> okay, come on. Keep your so your dad, me, and he sounds like an ex. I think there's someone's kids. Um, both of these are bad. Like, just tell him where the house is. He can go pick it up, and then the problem's solved. If you, you're just gonna cause arguments, that's a lie. And if you hang up, that's just gonna cause even more problems. And that's actually more likely to cause arguments. So I'm gonna go. I have no idea where that house is. Leave that to like hang it up. I'm gonna hang up now. Passive aggressive. Bye. Week, actually, <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have showed up unannounced. I don't know what came over me. What does that mean? Wasn't it nice to see each other again? <laughs> Did they try to get back in your pants? You and I never got to talk about some stuff. The birds and bees. How grown ups cuddle. <laughs> Although we did have the chance. But I was never comfortable with the... Marie wasn't a fan of mother-daughter conversations. Was, maybe he's your dad. That would be even more... <laughs> Just make sure you don't stain the couch. So, I guess as a result, I'm not too good with personal matters either. But still, I have a fond memory. I had become a woman. Just like her. It was astonishing. Almost an animalistic feeling. I felt strong. <laughs> I bloodied all over the sofa. Very powerful. Uh, it was very nice. But it was also completely stupid. Don't say that. Why are you saying that? Do you know why? We can't be doing this. Things are different between us now. And... They don't have to be. Things could even be <laughs> He's better. trying to get back with her. The... Uh, it's over. <laughs> right. Deep down, you know it. Everything that happened to us, it helped us. There was There's also a reason that relationships the end. Means we are you know. supposed to come back together, stronger. Bullshit. Why? What about Pauline? Oh, he Pauline? cheated on you. Great. Oh. <laughs> what a douche. Wait, he he's, or is he married and he had an affair with you? Decided to return after dumping you after she killed your. Don't even go there. That's a really stupid idea, Alex. The terrible People idea. Don't change. <laughs> you know how I am. I do. I've known since day one. We met in high school, as juniors. <laughs> it feels like a lifetime ago. We only had one class in common. Film studies. And we had completely opposite tastes. <laughs> yeah, and never get with someone who's London. completely opposite tastes. It's I, on the a other terrible hand, idea. By art house movies. I and that's not completely opposite. Which tickle your brain. Also, Marie's cultural snobbery had imprinted on me. I was trying to impress her. But one day, your dad dragged me to the movies to see the... So your dad, it's like we're talking changed. to our kids. I had a newfound passion so for we dying in the moments. hospital like the mom. Let me tell you, there's a lot to critique. We spent hours on end in Alex's bedroom. I'm sure his parents thought we were having sex. Alex made an attempt once, but I wasn't interested at all at the time. 
I think that it scared me. Your dad didn't insist. That's Your one dad. Thing I like about him. Even but as a teen, he must have, <laughs> at some point, if he's your dad, even though you're talking like you have him. Jumping on candy. I was obsessed with film. It felt like discovering a new world. And when I requested a boring three-hour movie, the next day, we would play a video game. Actually, it's not as lame as it sounds, I promise. I mean, video games are good. There's nothing wrong with playing video games. But also, there are some good three-hour movies, is to be fair. Don't you want everything to be... Just like before. Oh. I think... I missed the from the ground up! Ah, we're gonna die again. Yes, I think <laughs> do. It's not too late. I mean, you know, if you're having a kid, you must have got back with him. You think so? <laughs> I know. Never too late. I, you know, I mean, I if you can make it. relationships work, it's never too late. Now? Yes. You know, there's always a chance if you still care about each other, then, you know, you can always Wait for me. I'm give coming. each other a chance. So you can always make it work, but if it doesn't work, you know, there are times to move on. But if you can make it work and you still care, why not? Because you're about to crash! <laughs> that's why not. You're about to crash on the way to his place, and that's not right. Maybe I was just wrong about all this. That wouldn't be the first time I screwed up. The three of us were so happy together. The three of us, you see? Still be happy? But the kids, the dad and you, um, new item. Toothbrush? Not the toothbrush. Maybe the toothbrush? <laughs> it's still not the toothbrush. Um, hairbrush? Mirror, it's not the lighter again. A book, okay. The hero with a thousand faces. Okay. The the hero with a thousand faces. The deer is getting <laughs> I don't supposed to be he's being hunted, but it's more like it's caressing and hugging the deer. It's like my love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I saw that as more of a caress than, than it being eaten. It's like, you know, we're just, you're my Sometimes love, my dear. You're unable to disappear. Why are there so many of us? Because well, we're the hero sure with a thousand faces, of course. Don't drop the mug. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Just sat staring in the freezer. In your opinion, Why have you got oranges in your freezer? That's one heck of a long cigarette. We can try to find out together if you want. Together. In a multi-story building with the lights off. <laughs> you know, it's already sitting in the flat with the lights off. That's weird. Um, what? <laughs> the control, it's suddenly fast-forwarded. That's new. I was going to click on that alone. It's alone again. It's not terrifying. It's just stroking her hair. It's like, she would I love her. Animal <laughs> with all kinds of mystery and conflict. Savage world, she called it. Female wolves, bears or scorpions would find themselves in imminent danger. But they could always manage it on their own. Swindling and betraying the boorish, idiotic males. Marie wanted us to be strong, courageous, and independent women. Except, it also made me a bit fearful of the world. <laughs> I don't know what the TV's trying to say. I was trying to listen. What was that pizza? Ew! <laughs> I'll have one with... Only tomato sauce. Wow. Like, where's the cheese? Where are any toppings? Where are the peppers? Where's anything nice? I'll just have... But as time every time <laughs> I'll just have a tomato on bread. To address it. Some of the worst titles, too. Um, how Bring to the funny. friends and influence people. The subtle art of not giving a fuck. Uh, who 
moved my cheese. You touched my cheese? <laughs> casually, but they still helped me move on. Alex would call it the emergency, but when I found myself alone, the library didn't work anymore. Think fast. Like, seriously, that's a disgusting pizza. <laughs> you know, the base. I'll just have the tomatoey base and nothing else. That's fine. Alone again. Okay. At first, that's alive. I stayed in the apartment for days. Surviving. I wouldn't go outside. I barely recognized my own voice when I opened the door for food deliveries. I that's a waste of money. <laughs> no one would have known. Just surviving off food deliveries. <laughs> silence. If you listen carefully, you can hear some things. The air traveling through the lungs. The bowels gurgling. The teeth grinding. Even a heart beating. Why are you grinding your teeth? That's something you should worry about. Also, like, you've barely unpacked. Like, boxes everywhere. Just smoking on the balcony alone. Dependent, independent. In fact, Alex... And Marie are like Marie was a model of strength, of courage, and determination. Everyone admires her, but she is completely unattainable. Alex was my crutch, my unwavering support. I came to believe that I would crumble without him. And I was dependent on her as much as him, unable to manage on my own. So you're dependent. Before. And now you're alone. And alone can be more powerful, actually. <laughs> you know, it's a lot easier, but also, you know, not the greatest. Where did the alone? There's the alone. I guess you understand. In this big city. Your dad and I separate. In my little form. The first time in my your dad life, and I, I see, he alone. is talking about her kids. At 34 years old. And he I was the dad. I no idea how to do that. And he didn't fix everything. But. Come to think of it, it may be the reason I began looking for who I really was. Now, does the time rewind entirely again? In fast forward, is that like a camera shutter? The button is not... The button is not doing anything. Okay, I guess we've got to zoom back in. <laughs> Slowly, but surely, <laughs> there's clearly more that we need to find. But now that we've found some things, it's going to give us more things. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with living on your own, honestly. And, you know, when you don't have people that are causing problems in your life, you know, it can be a lot more stable. That's for a fact. You get to repair the deer mug. That deer mug has got to be important, right? That has to have some sort of relevance. Boxes. Yes, you've left too many I boxes. You haven't unpacked. Boxes <laughs> Unpack them. Open them. It was physically impossible, but it didn't bother me. Because you didn't I really want to move out also, into that place. If I hadn't, instead of blame it on the life that was put away in those boxes. You put your life away and you blame it on boxes. And, you know, you don't want to live here alone, which is why you've left everything in those boxes. Because you don't want to unpack, because you don't want to live this life. I understand. I think I just figured out why I love movies so much. When I was a teenager, my life didn't seem real. I couldn't say for sure that I existed, but in movies, people had pure and intense emotions. I loved that. Any fiction was a documentary to me. When I found myself alone, I fell back into that zone. I watched hundreds of movies, obscure comedies, blockbusters, absurd schlock. I was looking for a template that would explain to me how to feel. Except it didn't Still look struggling to feel, I guess. So maybe she has issues with emotion. Maybe she can't express herself. <laughs> Disgusting pizza. From the day you died, <laughs> I had been sleeping a lot. I was still tired when I woke up, but at least it passed. The daughter then died. Sleeplessness kicked in. I spent my nights trying to understand what am That's I why she's doing alone. here. I wonder, is the daughter in the car with us? I guess the daughter died in the car crash. 
I think the daughter died in the car crash. Can we rewind further than this, I wonder? Is there something to see further than this? No. See, it's interesting that in this one as well, we can't just loop. We have to go backwards and forwards. I guess it's an interesting decision, <laughs> but, you know, it's weird to change it up like that. But again, you know, they've altered the directions that things work in every single vision and memory, so why not alter it in that aspect as well? Because they could have made it zoom out to, like, a dark blackness and then zoom out of the eye. Mark, I told you I had relevance. Why can't I click that, though? Let Do you me... remember this cup? <laughs> every morning you would drink your hot cocoa from it. I had to take it out of the dishwasher oh, so many It was a daughter's times. mug. Nothing else. It was in a box for a while. I thought about it sometimes when I thought about you. It was I there. See. One day I pulled it out of one of the boxes. I wanted a hot cocoa and it slipped out of my hands. Yeah, that sucks. Like one of the last memories of your someone that meant something to you and you drop it like that. And then that's probably why you're just like, you had a breakdown, of course. My heart skipped a beat in that moment. I held my breath for one second. And then... Nothing. Oh, you found nothing? Okay. Because then, um, you know, but I had mementos and um I wondered whether I was a monster for not I was tired of being sad and then you know I trusted them with my mom when I lost my place but she just gave them away ripped them up and you know was completely shithead about things that meant things to me because of the people that actually meant things to me and gifts from them but you know then I have to lose all of my stuff that had memories attached to them because of shit Fucking family that goes well. Oh, they these things mean nothing just because they meant nothing to you. Started typing, not a soap opera episode like I was writing before you died. It was something personal. I was surprised Important to get out. the desire to write, but now I understand how priceless it was. It allowed me to switch roles to escape the no situation. The grieving mother, or the young divorcee, or the daughter of. I was writing. I was becoming an author. I was. Inventing a reality that was just although it sounds like it's crumbling. I don't think it sounds real. I don't think this is real reality. <laughs> I think it's part of your breakdown. I think you might be having a breakdown because this could have zoomed out two of you from the ground up. You know, I was telling the truth earlier when I said that there were only two ways out in life, but. Whether you escape or disappear, in the end, you're doing the same thing. Now, I understand that I had to find another way. Yes, you do have to find another way. Complete solitude allowed me to face the void and to... Just go on with reality. <laughs> it was the only way. To change. To change completely. From the ground up. Yeah, I think your daughter's in the back of the car and she's gonna, you okay, know, okay, that's where she dies. So. Just like before. Alex and I can reinvent ourselves. I know that we can. But that's going to require a lot more work. I would love for things to work out that way, Alex. Just like in the movies. But the scene when they get back together, the happy end... I mean, there's nothing wrong with wanting a happy ending, and the happy end can happen. You're at least as sexy as Ryan Gosling. Yeah, and I definitely have better abs. I noticed that the other day. Is that new? Oh, was he just DMing you his abs? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. I'm sorry things ended the way they did between us. I left because I was losing my bearings. And I felt like you were also going off track, you know, trying to convince us that we would be okay. I was trying to help you. That's the problem. I didn't need help. I needed to come to terms with what happened, not help erasing it. I couldn't keep leaning so much on you. I couldn't stand it. I had reached a breaking point. If I didn't make a big change, I would have... Gone crazy. I was not allowed to die. 
I had no right. So I tried living. All the people who matter to me have something in common. They all live. They all <laughs> taught me that I could live without Marie. Taught me that I could live without a father. That I could exist as a woman in a world created for men. But she never taught me what it was like to Alex. True, she's I could live not really felt Marie. loved. All of a sudden, I was worth more than I thought. And she much less than I thought. But what he loved the most about me was that he could be there for me. I don't hold it against him. We are who we are. He loved me. But and then you were there. And you taught me the most important thing. You taught me that I could live even without Marie, even without even anything. without her. Yes, because <laughs> she died on you. <sighs> Awkward. Without you. You know, I changed too. I believe you, Alex. So don't you think it may be a good time to try again? No. We can try again <laughs> you can't really change, this, especially if you've lost a child together. That wow. is. That's a Nobel wisdom prize right there. <laughs> you that's know, not even a thing. That's not really exactly. going to help a relationship, is it? <laughs> you know, oh, I don't know if I should tell him this, but... I will always love you. Just we not in that way anymore. <laughs> that we could start something new. We'd hop in the car and road trip through Ardèche. I would take off my flip-flops and rest my bare feet on the dashboard. And you would yell at me because that's nasty. That is definitely nasty. Oh, oh, nastier than your damn Tupperware up in the fridge? <laughs> What's wrong with Tupperware? Hair in the bathroom sink? Uh, probably not. But then I realized that all of these are memories. Some are good, many are, but some are dreadful. Those memories with you, they're too much to handle. Yeah, exactly. Which you know, you the loss of, you'd just be men reminded of it constantly. You understand? Like, you should understand. What about last week? Look, Alex, I don't want to hurt him, but... You have to move on. I'm going to now is a good time to hang up. <laughs> I blew off Jan to pick up the phone, thinking this was an emergency. But it is an emergency. I'm sure Jan will understand. Alex, you don't know. <sighs> Fine. The one time I need your help. Oh, poor guy. He's about to feel very bad about this. Oh well, that was his dumb choice. Alex, I'm at the hospital. Oh shit. Are you okay? What happened? Or was it Diane? Don't worry, I'm fine. And, and so is your dear Diane. It's my mother. She had... Uh... Oh. I should be happy that he's really... But let's be honest. Alex has never been too keen on her anyway. Do you want to know how he described her? The mug of a James Bond villain, the personality of a public restroom, and the pictorial style of a drunken tardigrade. I'm sure he thought that she was being unfair to me, and that annoyed him. So he avoided her as much as possible. The worst part is that she loved him, but he could... Marie's self-assurance, her way of looking down on everyone. Ah, he often told me that he wasn't buying it, that it was pretend. Alex? I mean, he, he might have been pretentious because he was not as critical of Marie as he was. He probably thought that I was a bit um, masochistic. I wasn't. But he's, you know, the sort of artist she sounds like. <laughs> and she's my only mother. Alex, this is my mother we're talking about. I mean, sure, this is Marie, but still. What happened to a lady of the pen brush? I know it wasn't a heart. She doesn't have one. Wow. That's that harsh. <laughs> Not at all. What's happening to him? Is he drunk? It's a bit early to start drinking. Should I be worried? Or perhaps I shouldn't say anything. It's not funny, Alex. It's just... It's not funny. It's actually I thought we were hanging up the phone. It's time to... It is not <laughs> like you. Are you okay? Hang up the phone. Come on. It's just a joke. Except nothing is ever just a joke. 
Anyway, what do you care if I'm okay? Hmm? I mean, I care about you and <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, he is red. <laughs> Are you doing a stand-up routine now? Hopefully that works out better than movies did. Toxicity. Right, I don't know what's going on, but I have no time for this, okay? So I'm just gonna hang up now. Yeah, okay. you hang up. You can call me anytime, day or night, even show up at my house unannounced. I'm here. No worries. You should just, just hang up. Don't I can let right him keep That's unfair, talking. Right? Just hang up. <laughs> unfair? Really? Have I ever not been there for you? What is that supposed to mean? Are we keeping score? That's news to me. I never asked you to be there. I don't owe you a thing, okay? Just call Pauline if you're looking for comfort. That's too easy, you know. Giving up on me now that you no longer need me. Mm, Alex, it's been almost two years. What if I had done that to you when Astrid died? Oh, go fuck yourself, Alex. See, this is why you should have hung up earlier. <laughs> That's why you should have hung up already. <sighs> why are we getting in the car? What a dumbass! How dare he bring you up in the middle? He never forgave me for what happened, but he's too cowardly to tell it to my face. Because we need to live he's in memory right and die. I don't know how I would have managed if he weren't there when you... And on top of that, I hold him responsible. I guess I'm an ungrateful bitch, huh? Oh, <laughs> Well, <laughs> time to die again. Toothbrush? Nope. What are we clicking this time? Hairbrush? The hairbrush has got to be daughter's hairbrush, right? Not the book. It's not the lighter. It's not that. It is that? Okay. <laughs> Didn't see a glow on it. Hmm. I'll take it. Of all the stories I know... This is probably the least funny one. <laughs> Although it's not like any of this has been particularly fun so far. But sometimes, well, just ordinary life. Darker things does help shine a light on them. And actually, I think this one ends well. All right. That's a dark thing, but it ends well, huh? Um, <laughs> don't know about that one. Okay, so we click a scene Alex at the time, okay? To change the way that the future moves he again. Care of his child. He showered her, cooked her food, invented games for her. Any time the little girl was home, his deep laughter would shake the house's walls. And then one day, Alex no longer feels like laughing. Why would he no longer feel like laughing if he was still alive? Okay, so we're just going to click one scene at a time, I guess, until we see something to click. Maybe we should hold it. <laughs> was both a little girl and a very big girl. When she turned four, she decided she would brush her own teeth. She was so eager to grow up. And then one day, Astrid disappears. Was she kidnapped? What the fuck? <laughs> Junon was a mom who had made a huge mistake. She had bruises everywhere, a broken arm, her skull was split. It wasn't a pretty sight. Yeah, because you were in a car crash that killed your... <laughs> and still took care of her. Junon was quite sure that she didn't deserve it. And then one day, she gets better. Except she sounds like she doesn't care about things enough. Yeah, she gets better and just <laughs> strips off all her clothes and still just stands awkwardly in the sunlight. <laughs> that it totally seems better. The stares at the sun and oblivion and the sunset. Marie was a grandmother who was often angry. As a result, she and Junon did not talk much. It was too exhausting. And then one day, Marie calls. Time passes, and Junon's body fixes itself. The bones heal, the bruises fade. Doctors call it a miracle. Junon doesn't agree. But these doctors are no good anyway. They didn't even notice that Junon's heart is strewn all around.
Even though he pretends she doesn't Time care. Passes, but a big little girl doesn't just disappear. She leaves toys and drawings lying around and all kinds of fist sized marks. Like yeah. tiny Hurtful memories. clenched fists punching holes into Junon's heart. But then again, if you got rid of them all, you'd probably hate yourself even more, right? Time passes, and the phone rings. Again, and again, and again. Junon doesn't know what Marie wants, but she can guess. Marie was there when Junon made her big mistake. And if Junon picks up, they'll have to talk about it. Junon can't forgive herself. So the phone rings, and nobody answers. Time passes, and Alex is still standing. He misses his daughter. He misses laughing, too. But he doesn't show it. He's taking care of everything. He cleans up, he cooks, he washes. He wants people to know that he won't crumble down. And he's being there for you, and he's making sure to keep you going. So, you know, that's actually nice. And you in the bath, nothing happens. And then he's probably having his own silent breakdown. <laughs> and then the phone calls with no one here. Marie keeps on calling. When the accident happened, Marie knocked her head. She looks like she's better now, but Junon is still thinking that she almost killed her. Her too, she might add. So, uh, so the up. thing years ago was this accident and she hit her head and now... You know, that's why you're being blamed because, you know, the the head injury from years ago from hearing of this thing might have caused this. Alex puts away every hint of Astrid into a big box. The apartment but if he sees it's hurting you, sudden, he's trying to, like, you know. what it is. And Alex isn't crying. You yeah, don't think just because he's not crying... You know, that he doesn't care. He's probably doing it to try and help you because it hurts you. And you literally said seeing these as being punched in the heart. So he's trying to help you, to be fair. But again, you said you don't want to be helped. So, you know, that's probably not helping you because... Yeah. And that's just causing more problems for you. He wants to be the guy you can rely on to walk back home when you're tired. But today... Junon is not walking back. You know, don't shut someone out just because they're trying to be there. You know, because they're doing it because they care. And it's complicated because, you know, what can you do? You know, it's hard situations to be there for someone and you just stare at yourself in the mirror. And you pretend, and then you find something of her. Duplicate it and throw it on the floor. Because <laughs> it's still on the sink and it's also on the floor. <laughs> and then it's no longer on the sink. <laughs> Magic. And then you go to find the answer on the phone, but you get interrupted. Was there actually something they were meant to click on there? I kind of feel like, you know, that seems a bit empty for not having... It's probably going to be the last thing. We're going to have to go through cycles of time again until we find something else to click on or do we just fast forward it quicker and quicker <laughs> just watch time pass that there's one Junon doesn't want to be saved not by Alex not by anyone she puts her finger through the candle flame to feel, to feel. she wants to hurt just like that time broken bones and ripped up flesh she's angry that her heart is still beating. And we fast forward time again, looking for another instance of Junon. Then one day, are you sure you Pills. want to know the rest of the story, my lady? I hadn't prepared anything. That's why the pills are flying. I was just going to wash up. I had closed the door. Taken off my clothes, turned on the shower, and I started crying. I couldn't stop. I couldn't go on. I had medicine for my broken heart. 
Oh. And I decided to swallow it all. See. <laughs> Your toothbrush was on the edge of the bathroom sink, which made me think of my very big little. Ah, you room. missed something, and that's what triggered you. Full of toothpaste. I thought that maybe I too could give it a try, but I had forgotten how to. And that's why you tried to take your own life. I put those little pills in my mouth, and they tasted funny on my tongue. I just needed to swallow them. And right at that moment, the phone started ringing. And the shaking walls. There are two options. Interesting. Alex never learned what really happened that day. He panicked because Who's he could no longer hear me, so he broke the door. But he was too late. It was all over already. I mean, clearly you didn't die. You know, Marie didn't ask <laughs> he me clearly why I didn't took you to hospital. For a whole year. She started talking as if nothing a whole year. I was crying too much. I couldn't answer. So she told me she could wait. And she waited until the last tear was shed. And then she told Perhaps one day I can tell you exactly what it was. But long story short... It meant she loved us very much, you and I. In that moment, I felt like an enormous weight was lifted off of my shoulders, as if she had given me the most beautiful gift. And then she changed the subject, as she does. She had a proposal for me. Her career was taking off, and she needed someone to do the clerical work. She knew I would do it well. She told me, it's a boring job. I'm not doing you any favors, but you can do me one. I accepted. Not anymore. <laughs> That's it, my little fawn. No more. That's the end of my story. If it weren't for Marie, I wouldn't be here to tell you. Because she gave me more than words that day. She Hope. helped me understand that it was time I made my own decisions. That's also him breaking in and probably taking you to a hospital to save your life. <laughs> I would no longer rely on others to save me. Not on Marie, not Alex, not anyone else. I couldn't live like that. Not anymore.